Very good. To college now, live odds, sportsbookreview.com. Friday afternoon, Fox Sports 1, TCU in Texas. Texas, one and a half. The Texas AD came out about Charlie Strong, the situation on Sunday, when there were numerous reports he was fired. Said, quote, there are a number of rumors out there about the status of Coach Strong. I've said it all along. We will evaluate the body of work after the regular season. We have a game to get ready for against TCU on Friday. I hope our fans will come out and support our team. We'll discuss where things stand after that, end quote. Players talked about possibly boycotting if Strong was fired, and they backed off that. So Bouchel came out and said, yeah, we'll play. But this is, everyone knows he's gone. He's, it was sealed when they lost to Kansas for the first time since 1938. Just fire the guy. Why do you got to wait till after the game on Friday? This is a horrible situation all the way around. That's a good situation for us, my friend. Why don't they fire him? Now we get one game where we know that Texas is coming all out to play. This is a great scenario for us. I don't want Charlie Strong to get fired before this week. I don't want the players down. I want the players to go in and go all in for their man. Because you look at these tweets, and there were hundreds. I mean, it felt like there were hundreds of them that I was reading. Uh, I posted, we, we put up three of them. Uh, Puna Ford, letting this man go is the equivalent to losing a father. He has done wonders for all. These are by quotes from the players, by the way. Uh, for all the players in this team, and we want him to continue that. Uh, you know, uh, Timbo Cole, everyone who seems to have an opinion on my coach aren't the ones directly affected. Hashtag strong. Uh, Topi Amati, the main reason we came to UT was because of Coach Strong's plan for us to succeed and become a better man. Now y'all take him away. There's a lot of love on that sideline for Charlie Strong. And from all indications, Texas, yeah, it may not be the easiest spot. I think they're going to come to play this week. That's what I'm sensing for the, from the Longhorns. I don't think they lay down and they come. And, you know, it may not be what the administration wants. The administration probably wants a loss. Uh, you know, it makes the job easier in firing Charlie Strong. And they don't have to worry about going to any bowl games and that whole scenario. Uh, but for the coaching staff, for the players, they want TCU. And, uh, frankly, I think they're a notch or two better than TCU. Yeah, total's 59, by the way. Strong maybe had a better season than Gary Patterson. I mean, they got beat at home by... They got beat 31-6 to at home by Oklahoma State, his worst ever home loss in 13 seasons. Patterson, quote, it's been a long time since we got our butts kicked at home. As soon as you start tolerating what happened today, you need to get into a different profession. As a coach, you put a lot into it. What you've got to realize is that you're not going to change unless you look at yourself in the mirror and say, that didn't work, so what's your next answer? Well, still, both teams are alive for a bowl game as they both have come into this game with five wins. Sure, and I mean, the markets are, are, are showing that, and TCU certainly... I mean, TCU is every bit as bad as Texas this season, but ah, I'm not going to get into a racial issue. Charlie Strong's under a lot more heat than Gary Patterson, and probably deservedly so. Patterson's done a hell of a job at TCU. Not this year, he hasn't. Not necessarily. Well, last year he did for a long time, too. Uh, but the Horned Frogs aren't very good. From a talent perspective, Texas has more talent. If Texas comes to play, they'll win this game by margin. We'll get back to this day, this game when it comes to play in the daytime. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.